What's good with y'all, man? It's Cambria. Another video straight like that, fellas. Let's hop right into it, man. So hold on, hold on one second. I ain't gonna lie, I got me some Krispy Kreme. Now, mm. oh, that's good. Now, you might be saying, Cam, what you doing eating Krispy Kreme, bro? That's not high value. Da -da 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 -da. Bro, let me tell you something right now. I just finished an extremely long, extremely exhausting track and field season, bro. All right. And if you're a sprinter, you know exactly what I'm talking about, man. All right. We had a good year. We had a good season. All right. I am mentally, emotionally, physically drained right now, bro. All right. So cut me some slap and let me eat my damn Krispy Kreme in peace. But anyway, y'all see the title of this video, man. We're going to hop right into it, man. I got y'all. This is the biggest red flag of all time if you see this if your girl do this if a girl that you that you just dating that you just talking to do this you must cut her off bro because if you and, and the and the problem is that like like hold on most dudes see this red flag very clearly and they know it's a red flag but it's not even about spotting it it's about acting on it the biggest problem that guys have is acting on the red flags bro because you are so attached to this woman even if she's not good for you, you will stick around just because you enjoy her company. Fellas, this is why it's so important to develop your own life and your own backbone, your own spine to focus on you. Because when you focus on you enough and you develop your own life and you're on your own purpose, then you don't become so dependent and attached to somebody else. You don't, you don't overlook obvious red flags, fellas. Because when you overlook obvious red flags, that's how you get your time wasted. That's how you get played with. You see what I'm talking about, bro? So the biggest red flag of all time is if she talks about another guy around you or, or right to your face, bro. Now, I know what you're thinking. Kim, that's obvious. That's obvious. Well, let me tell you something. It may be obvious, but I guarantee it's probably happened to you and you said nothing about it. Why did you say nothing about it? Because you didn't wanna, you didn't wanna deal with that label of being called insecure. You didn't wanna be called insecure. See, that's the biggest defense mechanism that women have. That is their biggest weapon right there. A woman's biggest weapon is being able to call a man insecure, bro. Because she knows her fact that if she calls you insecure, she gonna hit you right where it hurts. She gonna hit you right where it hurts. And now you're gonna be like, oh, I ain't insecure, I ain't insecure. She basically just testing you. She testing your manhood, really. So, so now you want to be the big macho guy. Oh, I ain't, I'm, I'm secure. I'm secure. Bro, I've said this shit before, bro. Secure guys get cheated on, man. That's facts. That's facts. Because the truth is, man, if she's talking about other guys around you, she's comfortable with that, that is a test in and of itself, bro. Because you got to understand, no woman that actually respects you or feels something for you is going to be talking about how she went on a date with Johnny last night. No woman that respects you is even going to be talking about a male co-worker right unless it's in the context of a, a crazy story that happened or whatever but if a chick just randomly mentioned oh yeah we got this new co-worker today uh his name is this his name is that and there's no like story or, th or nothing like that like he didn't do nothing she just bring him up and just mention him just 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 because just casually fellas you gotta understand these are all mind games bro these are, these are mind games see the first thing that she gonna do when she's actually interested in another dude is she gonna bring him up to you casually. The reason she gonna do this is because she wants to kind of make it seem like, oh, it's just friendly or whatever. You know what I mean? The truth is, the moment that a girl, uh, the moment a girl sees a dude, she knows within 10 seconds that she wanna smash him or not, whether she's in a relationship or not. She look at him, she's like, oh, I fuck with him. Oh, I don't fuck with him. Now, the quality of woman that you have is extremely important because if you got a low quality woman, the moment she see a dude that she deems attractive, she gone. And then she gonna do exactly what I'm about to tell y'all, bro. So boom, she gonna call you up. You gonna be talking. She gonna just mention on the off chance. Oh, oh, this this now new guy came to work. Oh, this new guy came to school. Oh, we got this new teacher. Like whatever. You know what I mean? And then you gonna be like, oh yeah, whatever, because you you a secure dude, right? Right. And so you just like, oh yeah, that's cool, that's cool. Then she gonna bring him up again, right? Oh yeah, uh, he was doing this. Oh, we talked about this. We talked about that. And you just gonna let it slide because you a secure dude, right? And then one day she gonna go out with her coworkers. Oh, I'm gonna go out with the coworkers. I'm gonna chill. You a secure dude, so oh, okay for sure. And then the next day, she ain't gonna text you. 
And then she's gonna start getting distant. And you're gonna start wondering why. And then she's gonna be like, oh, I just I don't know how I feel, and blah, 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 blah. The reality is the coworker or the guy that she mentioned to you a long time ago, yeah, he took your spot. He just took your spot. He was on the bench. He just he's in the starting lineup now. <laughs> you see what I'm saying, man? See, if you are ever in a situation when you are dating a woman to where she brings up another guy that could potentially be a threat, understand that he's more than a threat. He is he is a potential partner for this next woman. He is a backup partner, if not the, the, the replacement for you. The replacement for you. And the issue is with that a lot of you dudes watching this video, if something come up, you will let shit slide like that you cannot let things slide and the reason you let it slide is because you don't want to be seen uh, seen as insecure number one and number two you scared to because you scared to lose this girl bruh you scared to lose this girl that's the issue that's why so many of your relationships never work out dog because you so scared to lose this girl that you are literally willing to bend and break your morals to keep her around you are literally willing to concede to keep her around you don't have a spine you don't have a backbone you don't stand up to your girlfriend you don't stand up to the girl that you are dating you don't stand up to the girl you talking to you let her run all around you bruh you watch all my videos and you you a real alpha male huh okay well then why this chick telling you what to do she bossing you around and you like oh yeah that's okay i'm secure i'm secure uh, like bro come on dog you fellas, the, uh, the, the the thing is, man, society wants us to be weak. Soci as a man, society wants us to be weak. You have to fight against that. Society wants you to just be docile and passive and just, oh, yeah, um, oh, my girl could just, or this girl could just do whatever. I don't, bro, come on, dog. You need to set rules and set boundaries. If you ever want your relationship to go anywhere, dog, she started talking about another dude, bro. You call it out. You insecure. All right. I'm insecure? Okay, for sure. If you really got a problem with it, then you can leave. Because we don't do that shit around here. That's the that's the type of thinking that you got to start having. But you so passive with it. You you way too passive with it, bro. You allow her to just... La -dee -da -dee -da, I'm going to just go talk to this dude and talk to this dude. You be allowing your girl to not only have male friends, uh, 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 but I'm talking... You allow your girl to have male friends and she hanging out... One on one at fucking Benny Hannes. At Benny Hannes. Talking about, oh, it's just a friend date. He's not interested in me. Yeah, okay. He took you to Benny Hannes and paid for the whole meal. The chef was throwing rice in your mouth, was throwing chicken in your mouth. And you want to tell me as a man, I'm insecure. What? What women have yet to realize, or I take that back, they do realize it. They just take advantage of it by playing dumb and saying that they don't realize this. So they want they want to call you insecure because they want their cake and eat it too, right? Fellas, guys don't care if she got a boyfriend. Men don't care if you have a boyfriend. That's that's just the truth, man. If a guy likes you, bro, he's going to pursue you. And what I mean by pursue you is he's going, you know what I mean? He's going to hang around. He's going to be that shoulder to cry on. He's going to be that guy that's like, oh, I'm here for you. I'm here for you. And women, women fall for it every time. And you think it's because she don't actually like him. It's because, oh, oh, she's just oblivious to the fact. No, she knows. Women know that a shoulder to cry on is a dick to ride on. That's the number one reason why women cheat. It's because of attention. They and because, because that other guy that's showing her that attention, she wants that. She craves that because she knows taboo. So she wants that attention from him. So, so she knows that, oh, man, this guy, this guy, he's a shoulder to cry on. Like, I might give up. I, I might give it up to him. I might give it up to him. I'm going to keep it in my back pocket. Whole time she telling you, oh, don't worry about him. Bro, come on, dog. If your partner ever puts you in uncomfortable positions to where you are worried about somebody else, then you do not need to be with that partner. That's the bottom line, G. That's the bottom line. But a lot of y'all is too scared to, like, even do that. You too, you so attached to this woman, bro. You are so attached to this woman. Probably because you don't have that many women in your life. This is probably the first girlfriend that you ever done had in your life. The first date that you ever been on in your life. And you just don't want to fuck it up, bro. Let me tell you something right now. There's millions of women out there, dog. You have to have an abundance mindset. Because if you don't have an abundance mindset, this is exactly what's going to happen to you. You're going to get played and played and played and played and played until you do something about it. Do something about it. Do something about it. You see what I'm saying, man? But y'all be way too scared, bro. You too passive. Stop being passive, man. Stand up for yourself, dog. 
that's all I got for y'all, man. Quick little video. I got to get to class, man. Uh, run this shit up, man. Like, share, subscribe. Comment down below what you want to see next. God bless. Love y'all, man. Peace.